Hello there guys and welcome back. If you're like me, it can be really difficult to give somebody an idea of what you want for a gift. Say it's for your birthday, for a holiday, for any kind of situation, because usually if you're watching this channel, you're into high quality goods. Unfortunately, that means that your taste runs a little bit more on the expensive side because you want to pay a little bit more but have it for a lot longer. That's kind of our mantra around here. But that doesn't always have to be the case. There are plenty of items between, say, 10 to $300, which are really, really good quality that you'll have for a long time that you don't feel bad maybe asking your aunt for. I mean, somebody to shell out 25 bucks for something really nice, that's not too bad. So I have a few for you today that you may consider. Some of them are going to really hit home for some of you. Some of you will have absolutely no interest in them, but I'm trying to kind of like cover a wide variety of guys here. Now most of these items come in under $100, but I have included a few which are a little bit more expensive just to give you some variety. So we'll work our way from the most affordable to the most expensive, beginning with this right here. This is from Home Sewn Goods, and this is a hand towel. Now I know what you're saying to yourself, a hand towel, really? You're gonna give us a hand towel? Yes, I'm gonna give you a hand towel because guess what? No matter how rugged you are, you have to wash your hands. I mean, come on. This is from Home Sewn Goods and she makes these all individually by hand. You can choose your fabric and you can also choose what kind of colorful saying you want on there. This one says wash your damn hands, but she has a few which are a little bit more PG-13 rated. Uh, you could choose that as well. So just gives your own little twist on something that you know we all have to use every single day and it only comes in at $12.50. Now it's hard to imagine a world where we don't have our phones on us 24 seven, but if you're like me, there's something really nice about writing something down. And there's something even nicer about writing something down with a nice writing instrument, but that doesn't have to be some sort of Mont Blanc expensive pen. You can get into a decent pen for about 15 bucks, and that's what this is right here. This is the Pilot Metropolitan. This is the aluminum version. Now the Pilot Metropolitan is somewhat of a workhorse pen. This is something that you could bring with you and use, and you won't have a heart attack if it breaks or if you happen to lose it, but it does look kind of nice sticking out of your shirt pocket if you like to keep them there. And like I mentioned, there's just something really nice about writing with a nice fountain pen. So this is a great gift. They come in all kinds of different colors. This one here, as I mentioned, is silver with sort of like a snakeskin look to it. I just think it's kind of different and neat. But if you want to give this with something that you can write with, then you could always go with something like this. This is a nice little moleskin journal. Their smaller version, I think this is five and a half by three and a half, something like that. Perfect size for your pocket. Just a very nice sturdy feeling um, notebook. Now the moleskin journal is really, really nice, but I actually prefer leather, of course. Now this is the pop-off leather field notes cover, and you could actually use this to cover anything. It doesn't have to be a field notes journal, but you could put basically whatever you want in there as long as the size fits. And this originally came in a natural veg tan. As you can see, it's darkened somewhat. Um, I've treated it. I put some conditioner on there. It's picked up a little bit of indigo. It's starting to conform to my back pocket. As you can see, it's sort of curved. And this is something that is just really nice and will get better and darker and more beautiful with age. You can't really say that about a notebook. I mean, they do age, but not as beautifully as leather. Very few things do. So this is a really nice companion to the Pilot Metropolitan. And if you want to take it one step further, you can get yourself a nice ink. Now, there are plenty of inks out there. I actually prefer this Pilot brand right here. I cannot pronounce that at all, so I'm not even going to try. I'll just leave a link in the description below. This comes in all kinds of colors. You can choose whatever you want. I just chose a nice dark blue, and it's just beautiful. This is nice enough to kind of be displayed on your desk. What a beautiful bottle that is. So these things right here, I suppose you could combine to be anywhere from 125 bucks for the whole shebang or about $15 just for the pen, which does come with a refillable cartridge and a uh, disposable cartridge so you can start writing with it right away. But there's a great gift. Now, if you're also into leather goods, then you know that your investment needs to be cleaned and conditioned regularly in order to keep it in good shape and make sure that it lasts a long time. In order to do that, I like this right here. This is Chamberlain's Leather Milk Formula Number 1. This stuff is really nice. What I like about it is it's water-based. It goes on easy. It comes off easy, and it does such a nice job. This is made in the USA. Uh, I just really like their stuff. This stuff has always done uh, a great job on all my leather goods. But if you want to go for the whole shebang, you could go with formula number one, formula number two, and formula number three. Basically, this is the full spa treatment for your leather. So formula number two will actually clean your leather, take out any kind of light stains that you have in there. This does an excellent job of taking off surface dirt and stuff like that. Formula number two is, of course, to condition and, you know, rejuvenate the leather. And then formula number three is the protectant. So with the three of these right here, your leather is going to be in great shape. And uh, it's nice because you can buy these in uh, like a gift set that comes with applicators and all kinds of stuff that you're going to need to actually perform the task of taking care of your leather. That's a very nice thing for any person who's into leather goods. 
Now, if you live in a colder climate, then you know that a good hat is essential to keeping warm. And as we discussed in my cotton versus wool video, wool is superior to cotton in almost every single way. The problem is that wool is usually twice as expensive as cotton. So what are you to do? Well, what if I told you that I found a made in the USA wool hat for 22 bucks? That's exactly what I found. And this is by Left Field, New York, and it's made in the USA. This is a nice stretchy wool, 100% wool. I mean, it's very, very simple, but therein lies its beauty. And this is just such a nice hat. I've been wearing this on these really cold nights out on the railroad where it's been really, really cold. The nice thing about it too is that you can kind of push down the flap in the back and cover your neck a little bit. It's a really nice warm hat. And the nice thing about it too is that it has some decent stretch to it. Um, so if you are looking for a wool hat or if you're just looking for a perfect stocking stuffer, then I would say that this left field hat is absolutely perfect. Keeping with our wool theme, one of the best investments that you can make is a good pair of wool socks. And for that, you don't need to look any further than Darn Tough Vermont. This is all made in the USA stuff. And you have your choice of the different sizes. If you want like a full boot sock, if you want an over the calf sock, if you want a cruise sock, if you want it with a lot of cushion, with a little bit of cushion, with extra cushion, they have something to fit basically any need out there. Whether you're a hiker, a hunter, where uh, if you like work wear, athletic wear, you could find anything that you want over there at Darn Tough Vermont. And you'll have these for a long time. They will last so much longer than cotton socks. You won't believe it if you've never done it before, if you've never bought and used wool socks, it's really a game changer. You owe it to yourself to get a pair of these. Now, depending on which one you choose, you could find these anywhere from between $20 to $28. Totally worth the money. One of the most useful things on this list and one of the things that I most like to receive is a good knife. For that, I don't have to look any further than the Victorinox Cadet. I have a couple of these in a couple of different colors because they're so affordable and also because I tend to leave them in uh, pairs of pants. The cool thing about these is just how thin they are. And you really put this in your pocket and totally forget that you have it until you need it, which is the beauty of this thing. They do all that while still having the essential tools. So you have your main blade, which is more than enough to basically do anything you have to do. Let's face it, most of us just open boxes and packages and stuff like that on a day-to-day -day basis. You're not necessarily gutting a fish. This one right here is also super useful. This is kind of like a fingernail maintenance tool. I guess that's what you would call it. It has a little file on it and it's also a little punch right here. This is good for any kind of thing where you have to just stab into it and you don't want to use your tip. They also have a screwdriver slash cap lifter type deal and a can opener slash little tiny screwdriver thing on the end. I've never actually used this one right here. It's supposed to be a mini flat blade, uh, but I, I've never actually used that. If anything, I use this one right here as a flat blade. But either way, those tools right there, I mean, it's basically everything that you need on a day-to-day -day basis in the palm of your hand. You can put this in the coin pocket of your pants and uh, they're very, very affordable. Depending on which color you get, they're about 30 bucks. Up next is the Carhartt Gilliam vest, and I'm actually wearing that right here. The beauty of this thing right here is that it's so light and so thin, but so damn warm. If you put this vest on underneath your favorite jacket, it automatically takes a three season jacket and puts it straight into four season territory. This is a perfect layering piece or one that you can wear by itself like I am right now, just to give you a little bit of extra warmth. And it's so lightweight that you really just kind of forget that it's there. I think it's a perfect layering piece. It has little you know, pockets here. There's a pocket on the inside, the pocket in the inside right there and two hand warmer pockets. If you do want to wear it as a standalone thing, but I think it works best as a layering piece. You could put that collar up and, you know, really cinch it up. This thing has been essential on those cold nights that I've been working lately, and I can't speak highly enough. This thing comes in at about 70 bucks. Up next is another cool little item that I absolutely love, and if you're into EDC, you're gonna love it too, and that's a good lighter. Of course, the Zippo is classic, made in the USA. You can't knock any holes in the Zippo. It's an excellent piece. That's a great gift for about 20 bucks if you're into it. But if you wanna go another level or several up, this right here is the Douglas Field L in brass. Now, aside from its good looks, this thing has a level of finishing to it that is really just gorgeous. It's almost like jewelry level finishing. The machining on it is just beautiful. I use this all the time to light the fires in our stove, and it's just a really cool little design. I just love that. You know, a traditional wick with lighter fluid in here. Over here is your flint. In the base here, you have another extra little piece of flint just in case something happens. And you can sit it like this if you want to and use it almost like a candle. I mean, if that's what you're into, it's a pretty neat thing to be able to do. But I mean, it's just a thing of beauty and it's a nice little 
thing to just have to fidget with. Most of the time what I use it for, again, is to light fires in my stove, but if you wanna go another step further or a great companion piece to this lighter is the excellent and just, ugh, I wanna eat this thing. This is a candle from Imaginary Authors, my favorite fragrance brand. They, uh, it's hard to describe Imaginary Authors and how different they are. Most of the time when you think of colognes and fragrances and stuff like that, you kind of think of a musky type of scent. Imaginary Authors has really, Jesus Christ. Imaginary Authors has really opened up my mind when it comes to fragrances. I'm not really a fragrance or a cologne guy, but once I tried their stuff, I was pretty well converted. And I just love the complexity and depth that they have to their fragrances. And the nice thing too is that if you're not into colognes, this is a great way to do it. So they do offer some candles, a few of them in a couple of different fragrances, but I mean, just look at the beautiful printing on here. The night, I mean, this thing just blows away any store-bought candle that you could buy. Uh, and it's just, it's a premium product. This is a great, great gift. A gift that you most likely wouldn't buy for yourself, but if you're gonna buy it for somebody else, I mean, it, it really, it's, uh, it has unisex appeal too. So this is a great thing for your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever. The Imaginary Authors Candle comes in at around 60 bucks and the Douglas Field L comes in at around 75. I think they make a great pair, but either will stand on their own as a wonderful gift as well. Now, if you do any kind of wood processing, and that is just, you know, wood for your stove, kindling, uh, if you like to work with wood at all, then you know that you have to have a good hatchet on hand basically all the time. And for that, I've found what I believe to be possibly the nicest hatchet in existence, and that's from Grand Sforce Brook in Sweden. Uh, these are all handmade, and what I like about them is that when they come to you, they actually have the maker's mark stamped into the axe head, and then when you get them, you actually get a little book that you can um, you can tell actually who, who made it, depending on their initials right there. They have a little profile in there. Something that Again, it harkens back to the old ways of doing things when people used to make stuff and then sign it because they were so proud of how well the piece came out. And this is just a thing of beauty. When you use something like this, you realize the thought that went into the design. I mean, it's just, it's a timeless design, something that we've had for, since the beginning of, of the time when humans were making tools and how much it's just been perfected. Everything about this, I absolutely love. And it is a joy to make kindling to uh, even do stuff around the house. You know, you're cutting down little limbs and trees and stuff like that. And it's nice enough, small enough to keep in your bag or, you know, just, just along with you when you're doing things. I think it's a perfect hiking hatchet. It's perfect for making kindling for your stove at home, but just the level of finishing on this and how nice and how sharp it is. I mean, I swear you can shave with this thing out of the box. If you receive this as a gift, you'll probably be like me and spend plenty of time admiring how beautifully this is made, the level of precision, and sort of that rustic feel. I mean, it's not perfect. There are imperfections all over this thing, but therein lies its beauty. It is a tool and it's just made, ah, there's a certain intangible quality to this Grand Sports Brook hatchet. I just think it's beautiful. This right here comes in at about $159. Wrapping things up with our most expensive gift is the Filson Mackinac Shirt Jack. Now, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Filson. They have some absolutely beautiful products, wonderful stuff. Their bags are great, their Mackinac wool is fantastic. They also miss the mark on plenty of things. So, I don't just accept everything from Filson as it is. I think that they really, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that another time, but this is an exception right here. Now, it says Shirt Jack, but this is a jacket. Let's just call it what it is. This is a jacket, plain and simple. This is as heavy, if not heavier, than my Filson Mackinac Cruiser because it has an extra layer of cotton on the inside. Now, on the outside, you have this really nice uh, pattern. They call this, I think, a military plaid, and it has a little bit of, little bit of uh, olive in there, some gray, and some overlapping hues and tones. It's just it, a really nice masculine print. That Mackinac wool cannot be beat. It's wonderful, scratchy, but warm durable stuff, and it really lasts almost forever, it seems. This right here, depending on where you go, you can get it anywhere from about $300, but I was able to pick this one up for $250. Now, unfortunately, they go like hotcakes because they make these now in limited editions. This is the limited edition for this year. Last year, there was a really nice one with sort of an orange check on it. So if you don't get one this year, it may be worth keeping your eye out for next year's version. Now, the most expensive place to buy these is from Filson themselves. If I were you, however, I would look at other 
outfitters that are out there. Um, I will leave a link in the description below to the place that I got mine. It was the most affordable place I could find it. Regardless, this is a piece that you will have forever, really. I mean, I have my father's Filson Mackinac Cruiser and it looks almost like it's brand new. He used it hard. This is one that you could buy brand new and then pass on if you want or uh, be buried in it, whatever you wanna do, but this is an investment piece. This is something that you're gonna have for a long time, but it's definitely worth it and it will make somebody very happy, even if that person is you. There will be a link in the description below to all of the items that I mentioned here, but hopefully one of these things piqued your interest and will be something that you'll like to ask for or maybe something that you'll give as a gift. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>